All right, so welcome back to the Civil FE exam review. In this video, we're gonna be looking at force acceleration. Now, this is a continuation of the dynamics portion of the review. Um, so I think there's four different sections that are covered as far as in dynamics, and this is one of them. And so, um, I want to show you, I guess, where we're at in our review so that you're not confused. So in the handbook, we know that we are here, all right? We're going through force acceleration. If you didn't check out or haven't gone through um, mass moments of inertia or kinematics, make sure you do that. Um, those are very important topics as well. And we're also going to be covering work, energy, and power. So, um, but got some practice problems for y'all. So let's go ahead and get into them. So, number one says a five kilogram box experiences a net force of 15 newtons. Calculate the acceleration of the box. Unit should be in meters per second squared so given you got a net force 15 newtons all right they give us uh, the mass of the box not the weight of the box but they give us the mass of the box which is five kilograms so weight and mass are different. This is a mass. Okay. Calculate. We're trying to find the acceleration. So are there any formulas needed? In this case. Um, yes. Uh, if you don't already know, so we're trying to find the acceleration to give us the net force. So maybe a good starting point to find this because let's try. with the respect and you want to find basically what we're looking for is we have mass and we have force and we're solving for acceleration. So how would we, how can we, how do those all tie in together? All right. So we can see here, sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration. When motion exists only in a single direction without loss of generality, uh, it may be assumed to the x direction, a of x is equal to f of x over m. Okay, so we can for sure say the sum of the forces equals mass times acceleration. So the net force, just the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration. Okay, so I get, I got 15, Newtons for my mass. And we have five kilograms for, or I got 15 Newtons for my force. I'm sorry. Five kilograms for my mass. And then uh, A is what we're trying to solve for, which is acceleration. 
Okay, and if you didn't know this stuff, the sum of the forces equals the sum of the applied forces acting on a particle. M is equals to the mass of the particle. So anytime, typically most of the time, the handbook is gonna give us guidance on what some of these things are, but as long as you're doing practice, you'll know where to go. Um, okay, so 15 newtons divided by 5 kg is equal to 3 meters per second squared. Okay, so anytime you do newtons over um, kilograms, all right. I'll I'll show you why how this comes out to be three meters per second squared because I'm sure you're like, okay, that doesn't make sense. So if we go to unit conversions in the handbook, this is all in the handbook. So nothing most of the things that I I do, if it's not in the handbook, I probably won't know it. All right. Okay. So I know that one Newton is equal to one kilogram. Y'all see me where I'm at? Maybe, maybe not. Let's try to slide this over. All right, so I know that one Newton, one Newton is equal to one kilogram times a meter per second squared. So if we wanna just change this around, right? Let's say, just convert our Newtons to kilograms times meters per second squared. So I might say 15 Newtons. And I know that, we'll just do our unit conversions here. Uh, one Newton is equal to one kg per, sorry. Kg times meters per second squared. Okay. So these cancel these units. So it just equals 15 kg meters per second squared. Okay. So now if I took that and I said 15 kg meters per second squared, and I divided all that by my three meters per second squared, right? Then I end up getting five kilograms for my box or vice versa that's not what I was intentionally meaning to do, but that's how my units came out. So if I do 15 kilograms times the meters per second square and I divide it by my five kilogram box, all right, those units will cancel and I'll be left with my three meters per second square. So this is a quick, you can, you know, skip steps if you know what you're doing, but you need to know that one Newton does equal one kilogram times meters per second square. All right, went all around the world for that one. Don't know if that was necessary, but let me know if this was helpful. All right, so B uh, for number th for number one. I hope that you're enjoying this video. I just wanted to drop in and say if you're looking to pass your civil FD exam within the next 90 days, then you definitely want to check out the course that I've created. The video that you're currently watching gives you just a glimpse of what is in the course and I have made it test taker proof. And what that means is, is no matter if you've been out of school for a while or you just have trouble with some of the engineering concepts, if you study this material that is in the course, 
it will help you to pass within the next 90 days. There are also full practice exams. Yes, 110 question practice exams, along with review guides and study schedule templates to help you pass. And these, re these are resources that I have created for you. So if you wanna check out any of those, just head down in the description box below and check them out now. Now to stay up to date on any new videos that I drop, whether it is more practice problems like in this video, or if you want advice and some extra tips to help you pass your civil FE exam, you're gonna wanna make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications so that you know exactly when I post. And if you wanna check out the next video, you can here.